part 5. If a spider trap is present, the surfer or the spider in our example gets stuck on a website in the page rank context. To tackle the spider trap issue, Google introduced the teleportation technique, which practically includes the ability to go to any website disregarding the outgoing hyperlinks. We now consider that regardless of whether there are hyperlinks between two websites or not, there is a hypothetical hyperlink between them. That means we have a teleportation internetwork that only has virtual hyperlinks between all websites. That teleportation internetwork has connections between each pair of websites. The random surfer can now decide to jump to any random website from a website. The surfer can even randomly jump back to the same website where it is even if there is no actual self-loop. Let us separate the teleportation ability network that has an all-to-all -all connection as a different internet network for convenience. While the actual hyperlink internet work is still in action, this teleportation network plays a vital role in the page rank algorithm because now a random surfer need not get stuck on a website. The random surfer can teleport to any website, of course, with a certain probability. More on that probability thing soon. The actual hyperlink internet work of this given example has this adjacency matrix, which results in this transition matrix. Of course, we know from our previous discussions that this transition matrix is a column stochastic matrix, that is, each column of this transition matrix sums up to 1. Each column reflects what ratio of importance is passed via the outgoing hyperlinks of a website. Please revisit the first video in the page rank series if you need to revise how the transition probability matrix is constructed from the adjacency matrix. Now, this random teleportation network is interesting. Its adjacency matrix is uniform, containing all ones in all cells, because the teleportation network links between all pairs of websites. The uniform adjacency matrix translates to a uniform transition matrix. Pretty interesting, right? Let us denote this uniform teleportation transition matrix by the letter capital U. Our hyperlink transition matrix is denoted by capital letter M. Our page rank formula that was vulnerable to the spider trap issue had this formula R equals M times R, where R is the rank vector and M is the transition matrix for the hyperlinked internet work. Now that we have another matrix U, we should include it in the formula. Let's include it in an additive form. R equals M times R plus U times R. That is, we are multiplying the uniform teleportation transition matrix by the rank vector and adding the result with our previous m times r. Here in this formula, we are saying that both the hyperlink network transition matrix m and teleportation network transition matrix u have equal importance. Note that m times r is a column vector, also u times r is a column vector. m times r sums up to 1, also u times r sums up to 1. Therefore, this addition will result in a column vector that sums up to 2.0, which is not really convenient because we would like the resulting rank vector in every iteration to sum up to 1.0, so that the rank vector looks like a probability vector. Now, we will change it in such a way that the right side becomes a column vector that sums up to 1, instead of the right side being summing up to 
Here, both the hyperlink network transition matrix M and the teleportation network transition matrix U have equal importance. It will not hurt to say that half the rank vector is coming from the actual hyperlink internetwork and the other half of the rank vector is coming from the teleportation part. Why should we put this half R0.5 in the equation? We could say 0.8 of the rank vector should come from the actual hyperlink internetwork and 0.2 part should come from the teleportation internetwork. What Google does is it introduces a parameter, say beta, where beta varies between 0 and 1. But is the probability that the random surfer uses an actual hyperlink and 1 minus beta is the probability that the random surfer teleports to any website. With the inclusion of this beta probability, the entire right side results in a column vector that sums up to 1.0. There is a caveat. We have two matrix multiplications now in each iteration. Remember, this matrix M and this matrix U are huge. Each of these matrices is number of websites in the world times number of websites in the world big. So now we will check if we can make this part of the equation a bit faster. Notice that U is a uniform matrix. We are multiplying it with a rank vector which always sums up to 1.0. If we multiply a column stochastic matrix by a rank vector that sums up to 1, we will always get a uniform rank vector. That means this u times r will always be a uniform rank vector. For an internet of three websites, u times r will always be this. For an internet of four websites, u times r will always be this. For an internet of five websites, u times r will always be this. So and so forth. Hence, the multiplication u times r in every iteration is redundant. We could just create a uniform rank vector for the entire internet before starting any iteration and place it here in the formula instead of doing the multiplication again and again in each iteration. Actually, we can just store this 1 minus beta times u times r part in a variable before the iterations and put the variable here. We have just this addition now, which is not that computationally prohibitive because it is the addition of two column vectors. Our equation becomes r equals beta times m times r plus c where C is a constant for a given internetwork and a given beta. C equal to 1 minus beta times a uniform rank vector that sums up to 1.0. Now, how do we change the pseudocode of our page rank algorithm to incorporate the teleportation capability? This is how we make the change. We have an additional parameter beta. We create uh, this constant C, which is 1 minus beta times a uniform column vector that sums up to 1.0. That means the number of elements in the column vector C will be the number of websites. Each cell will contain a value equal to 1 minus beta times 1 over n, where n is the number of websites. Now we will change the pseudocode to reflect the formula r equals beta times m times r plus c. A quick review of the entire pseudocode. Beta is the probability that the random surfer will use a hyperlink to go to another website. 1 minus beta is the probability that the surfer will teleport. m is the hyperlink transition matrix. n is the number of websites n is actually the number of rows or columns of this column stochastic matrix M. In the initialization part, R new or R prev is a uniform column vector with n elements. 
are new or are prev sum sub to 1. C is a column vector like R new or R prev, but the values are multiplied by 1 minus beta. We have the infinite loop like before. We update R new by computing this part of the equation. If we find that R new and R prev are almost equal, then we break the loop. If not, we update R prev by copying the content of R new. We keep iterating until the algorithm converges. That is, the algorithm keeps iterating till R new and R prev becomes almost equal. Once R new and R prev are equal or almost equal, the loop breaks and the execution comes here. The function returns the latest page rank vector stored in R new. R new will reflect the page rank probabilities of all websites. For this internetwork, since it has a spider trap, we know that the page rank vector would be 0, 0, 001 for these three websites without teleportation after many many iterations. With this updated pseudocode that includes teleportation with beta equal to 0 0.8, we will see that the rank vector becomes this after the algorithm converges. Not all the page rank juice can end up in website C anymore. Other websites have some page rank probabilities too. That is it. This pseudocode is the basis of the Google's beginning. In the next video, let us implement the page rank algorithm using Python. Once again, before teleporting to the next video, make sure to hit the like button. Subscribe to this channel to see more videos like this one. I will see you soon in the following video. Meantime, happy learning.